VRF ID, virtual route and forwarding, and sometimes they call it VRI, virtual route instance. Uh, this is Dari CCI routing and switching. I'm going to talking today about the very important topic, which is the VRF. VRF is a big component for the MPLS. And also, uh, as you know, guys, the MPLS is an even big component for the CCI routing and switching topics, uh, CCI data center even, and even service provider and many type of technologies. And another interesting thing, the VRF, it is very, very important with the new technologies like a VXLAN, like a, uh, overlay, underlay technologies, virtual network, all those stuff. Nowadays, VRF uh, uh, anticipated in those technology. How to understand the VRF with a simple uh, idea and with the step by step? Basically, the VRF they can make more than one virtual uh, route table from one physical device. For example, here in front of you, we have one router here, or even a switch you can use if the switch is. Uh, layer 3 switch you can use the same concept so we can see here i have a one device of course this is represent i have a one route table on it uh, but with the vrf we can make more than one route table so for example here in my router here in front of you here i have one route table here but with the vrf virtual route forwarding and virtual route in instance i can make another route table here and make another route table here and probably another one here as well and also I make a connection between them I say I, I would say for example uh, this route table one can talk with route table two but route one number one cannot talk with route table number three it is not allowed and everybody can talk or everybody can access to the default route table or the global route table this one which is they call it a default route table or admin route table or even they call it global routing route table cool how can to configure that and the question before to jumping to the configuration part what the benefit if i create more than vrf table more than route table what the benefit okay the benefit here just imagine with me here i have a one router here connected to another router here and connected to another router here and this guy your service provider for example or let's say i don't want i, I don't want to say this is a service provider but inside that router here you want to segregation the traffic you want to uh, segregation the traffic for the router one router two router three if we deal with the three router here in one route table you can see the routing for router one here you can see the routing for router two here you can see the routing or network or prefix for from the router three will be here in one route table everybody shared in one route table here everybody can see each other and even if I have some network here, my prefix also will be included and participated in this route table. How to do the segregation again? How to make like a individual route table for each customer or for this router one, I need to deal with the specific route for all your router one. Here the benefit for VRF. Uh, I can do for router one i can do one route table for router one i call it vrf router one i can make another route table for router two or deal with the router two and i can make another route table here deal or communicate with the router three so inside that router exactly i present three route table and each route table deal with a specific router here and at the end i achieve the segregation of the traffic from different uh, traffic or from different device coming in my router and segregation to different route table 